Hi, today I would like to share with you the agape. This is the greatest favor of God to every one of us, to those who will believe and accept our Jesus Christ. Um, we will experience the agape love of God. In Judges 16, it says, For God so loved the world, He gave His one and only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in Him shall not perish, but have an everlasting life. And that is how amazing the God is, that He is so good, even if people are impatient, sinner, hid it still the Lord is so gracious and he provide his agape love you know that there are in Greek word there are uh, four kinds of love the first one is what we call called eros love this is the um, love of the opposite sex um, there's an attraction between man and woman, uh, maybe in their physical appearance or uh, their personality, and they, they attract each other, and they build relationships, and, and they, they will uh, make their own family, and as towards love will come, and when they have children and they have their family and you know the eros love it will not last forever because the love of human there is an expiration and the storage love when the couple you know when the couple after five years or ten years when you don't have children sometimes or mostly some of the people be um A divorce because they don't have children and because every one of us have differences and they cannot take their own weaknesses and that's the problem so they get divorced sometimes because of the sports love um, the children will, will, will bring and unite the love of the couple but the problem when the children will grow grown up and they will have their own also family and sometimes some of the parents will also divorce because um, their family is not complete and and it will not last long and even the children or brothers and sisters uh, they're also fighting each other and even if they have their own properties like um, Anna from their parents or sometimes they're fighting each other because of, of uh, the house or because of the land that they own so the storage love will not also last but sometimes with a couple that have children and they build relationship teamwork and the philia will also come up so even if you know they don't have children but when they have teamwork they understand each other so philia it's a brotherly sometimes this will last in the relationship of uh, every couple so there is a philia like friendship but sometimes again the philia will also not last and and the only thing that would last is the agape and that is the God's love for humankind and how he he loves us and how he shared to us his love unconditionally so today I would like to share with you the, the agape the agape love and I hope and pray that God will help us and get us to, um, uh, to the Holy Spirit will help us and get us to illuminate His Word and His message. And I know I am not 
really good. I just um, I'm just relying on the power of God or God to uh, gonna help us as we tackle this um, topic. So I'm used by the way I'm using um, selective verses. So just to to point out uh, how the, the love of the Lord is given to every one of us. So the agape, this is the greatest favor of God that uh, He has given to each one of us, those who receive the Lord Jesus Christ. The so first point is that we exper uh, experience that the Father provides saving love. He provides His, his sovereign, His mercy, His love endures forever. And He provides saving love all of us to do so will listen to his voice to do so will understand so the first one is that he provides the first atonement so in Genesis 3 it says the Lord God made for Adam and for his wife a garment of skins and clothed them so after God sermon Adam and Eve because of their disobedience and Adam and Eve the made their clothes out of the fig tree but the Lord did not accept it but God gave them a clothes out of the skin of an animal so the implication there that God made an atonement by himself so he is the one who who is doing an atonement for himself because there is a skin there is a skin from animal it means killed an animal by it's that implication for, for this verse and he gave it to Adam and Eve and he teach also them how to, to do atonement offering to our God and that is how amazing our God even how sinners we are but still the Lord give us uh, a chance and give us a way how we can uh, follow him so the second one God our father he provides for cyclo so after um actually there's a lot of um the work of the father that um he has showed and uh, gave to his people but i just select some uh, of the highlights like also from the ark of noah but just want to point out these three um three points uh three three sub point to 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 point out how the father provides his saving love the second uh, the second is he provides mosaic law in exodus 54 12 when the um, israelites were in the in the desert when they were in the wilderness and then god gave them a uh, the law the mosaic law so that they will become um, right just before God you will believe God and so that you follow the law you will become righteous and yeah but still the law did not did not work the people are so impatient unbelieving and they're always uh, complaining when uh, Moses and Aaron guiding them and to the point that some of them were lost because of um, their uh, hard-headed but still the Lord is so merciful and third one is that he provides his one and all the son and that is our Lord Jesus Christ in John 3 16 he gave our Lord Jesus Christ the only son the only savior the only way that we can come to him that we can uh, connect our relationship to the father that we can be we can call him father we can be his children again in John 1 to those who will believe uh, give us to, to, the right to become children of God so through only son or Jesus Christ so he provide for us so that we can be connected to him so that we can we will be saved from our uh, sin 
and from our weak, uh, wickedness, we can come back to Him. And when we receive Lord Jesus Christ, we will be uh, we will be forgiven. And not only that, He also gave His Holy Spirit. In Ezekiel 36, the Lord knew that in the Old Testament, in the old people, um, the the human nature, the human flesh is weak that could not follow the law so that's why we need, we need a helper because God knew it that it's, we are so weak so that's why the, the one we receive, the one we believe and even when we receive Lord Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit is helping us because we are not capable to believe the Lord Jesus Christ but when we, when we hear the gospel, the work of the Holy Spirit is I'm helping us. That's the work of the Holy Spirit, helping us to understand the gospel and then we receive Lord Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit will come to us. And that's how um, our Father shows His love to us. Although our God is just, but to those who will humble and and bow down before him um, he, he is so uh, faithful and he is so gracious that he will give his love his favor and that's how our God he is so uh, he's, he's, he's a lot of he's so lovely and our father is so, so lovely he's really good and there's none like him that is our Father. His sovereign love, mercy, never, ever, ever changes, even from the beginning. As long as we bow down as well, as long as we uh, go back to Him, He will never, ever change. The second one is that we experience um, the love of God through Jesus demonstrates unmeasurable love. His love is immeasurable. It's incomparable. It's not like what Jesus. And there's not no one who did what like Jesus Christ did for us because He's the only one and the unique person, God, who loves us and He demonstrates His love to to the world, to the one who will listen to His voice. So the sub the sub point here, the first is that. He demonstrate a true humility, right? So, could you imagine? Uh, he is God, but he, when he, he's a king. But we, when he entered into this world, uh, he was born in a manger. A manger. He was born together uh, with the animals. It was the lowest form of way of living there's an animal and it was uncomfortable uh, we are so uh, lucky or we are so blessed that uh, when we born when we enter into this world when we exist uh, maybe some of us we we were in the nice hospitals or nice place and we, we nice uh, uh, room but Jesus Christ was was really really a poor poor guy who, who really we could see the implication is he's really humble he's really humble Jesus Christ is very really humble and in Philippians uh, 2.6-9 it says but though uh, he was in the form of God his God did not count count equality with God a thing to be grasped. His God, but did not think he he as a king as a as a, as a God he he removed his being God because he loves us because um, he cannot do it if he's God he cannot save us so he need to be formed like a human because we need his blood. Because the blood of a pure man, 
your blood can only save us. That's why from word became flesh, from word became human. And that is him. He became, he became a human because we need his blood. And he sacrificed himself. And but he emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form, and humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on the cross. Can you imagine that? Even uh, he was uh, sacrificed himself on the cross because he loves us and he shows his love to us. And he came to this world and he demonstrate to his disciples he do some miracles and he showed to everyone who is god because during the time of lord jesus christ there's a lot of um false god some of them they're believing a baal or they're believing their false god that's why jesus christ came because god is spirit no one can see god so the the one reason why Jesus Christ came is so that if you see Jesus you will also, we will also see the Father, you will, also see God, you will also see our God so that's why he came to this world they performed miracles and wonders he healed um, sick and he he, a lot, he do a lot of miracles during his ministry for three and a half years but what happened? still hard hit it and they did listen to him and to the point that the people crucified him Can you imagine that he took his best he gave his love he demonstrated to us but the people are are, are very very hard hit it and that's why in in uh I just go i just in the uh, letter C it says he demonstrates how to forgive so even how people sinners are the people were, were um, degrading him and and uh, playing with him and they crucified him but still what Jesus Christ said forgive them for the not what they're doing he demonstrates how to forgive how our Lord Jesus Christ and then he demonstrates serving one another in John 13 14 to 15 then your Lord and teacher have washed your feet you also ought to wash one another's feet for I have given you an example that you also should do as I have done to you he came to this world not to be served but he's the one who served and to the point that he washed the, 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 the feet of his disciples. You know, during the time, the, the feet of his disciples was, was very, very dirty, but he humbled himself. He cleaned, he washed their feet with love. He set an example how humble he is, how lovely he is, and that he is our Jesus Christ. And we are so. If you believe him, if you understand his word, this is for you to experience the unmeasurable love of the Lord Jesus Christ. So the love of the Father gave a solution that Jesus Christ came to this world and he demonstrated to live with us, to live together with the disciples that he demonstrates his love, he showed his love so that every one of us would would see him and receive him as our Lord and Savior but still a lot of people doesn't believe him so there's nothing that we can do about that but just leave it to the Lord what is the most important thing is that we're still um, sharing the gospel we're still sharing who is our Jesus Christ yes. we need to share his unmeasurable love his grace his uh, uh, merited favor that is our Jesus Christ. He humbled himself, he's so obedient to his father, and he humbled himself 
he went to the point of death. Yeah, he hung himself on the cross and he died for our sin, for the forgiveness of our um, iniquities. That's how our Jesus Christ is. That is amazing. So we experience um, his love if we believe our Jesus Christ. To those who don't believe, so I'm sorry for you guys. So the third one is uh, what we experience is that the Holy Spirit teaches us compassion and love. You know, the love of the Father, He provides salvation. Our Lord Jesus Christ, He came to the world to demonstrate to us. But the Holy Spirit not only um, uh, coming to the world, but because the Holy Spirit is in everywhere, He's powerful. And when we receive the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, um, the Holy Spirit teaches compassion and love. Because in reality, we don't have love. But through the Holy Spirit, after we receive the Lord Jesus Christ, that when we hear the gospel, He helps us. So a, He helps us to understand the gospel and the truth. Because man, or man is totally de de uh, total depraved, depravity of man. If you don't understand, if you don't believe our God, so when we do, there's nothing that we can do right before God. But when we hear the gospel, and the Holy Spirit is teaching us, helping us, so that we can. Um, understand him we can understand the gospel so that we can receive Lord Jesus Christ so in John 16 it says and when he comes this is what Jesus Christ said to his disciple and when he comes he will uh, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment that is the one who helping us um, to see our our sin that we are sinners touches us then we believe and then we believe Lord Jesus Christ and then we come to repentance and 13 15 says when the spirit of truth comes he will guide you into the, the truth for he will not speak of his own authority but whatever he hears he will speak and he will declare to you and things that are to come he will glorify me for he will take what is mine and declare it to you all that the father's father has is, is mine therefore i said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you so through the holy spirit we know our lord jesus christ and he's the one who is helping us that we can appreciate the work of lord jesus christ that we can glorify lord jesus christ because that we can worship him and we can understand the value of what jesus christ did to us what is the meaning of uh, how he sacrifices blood so that we can uh, be forgiven through through the blood of our Jesus Christ and we can appreciate more who he is because if we alone believe in our Jesus Christ it's impossible for us to to believe who is this especially um, 2000 years ago um, we didn't. Uh, we did. We, we don't see him. Two thousand. How many years go by? But because of the Holy Spirit, that is why we believe him. That is why we believe Lord Jesus Christ. That is why we we pray and we worship our God because of the work of the Holy Spirit. Because he is because of his love um, he entered to us and he lived with us to become our partner not only demonstrating but he entered into our heart he entered to our body and he lived together with us to teach us he is so compassionate and he is our partner he's living with us and he's in our daily lives is the one who is teaching us to do what is right 
as we as we follow our God because we as a human we are limited we are sinners but praise God because of the compassionate love of the Holy Spirit he is the one who help who helps us and he dwell in us he live together in us with us now he is now with us because we are not capable to do what is right we cannot understand the message of the Lord we cannot understand his word and we cannot be righteous without the Holy Spirit this is the one who helping us to become for us to become righteous he justify us he's doing the justification he said to part us from from sin so the time will come when we will become holy even we are struggling uh, in inside because of our flesh that's strong our flesh is so uh so sinner that's why i always remember that jesus christ is already crucified together our in our belief we crucified our flesh and our flesh is no longer powered to control ourselves sometimes we still uh we are still controlling ourselves not christ not the holy spirit is controlling us so the holy spirit is helping us day by day although sometimes we are not faithful we're not listening to him but still he's so patient gentle and helping us for us uh, to grow for us to, to, to grow for us to know more about our Jesus Christ and about our God our Father and then the second one that uh, he gives us new life so from that he gave us new life eternal security because we're spiritual and dead because of sin but after we receive Lord Jesus Christ new life we were born again god regenerated us he regenerated us he's the one who gives us life he was the one who performed in our lives he entered to us so that we will be alive again and he gives us eternal security it means um after we receive jesus christ no one can snatch us from our hands from the hands of the lord we are now in the lord and he gives us uh security that once we are, we became we become his children we are his children the only sin that uh, that unforgivable is that not believing jesus christ is to those who don't believe Lord jesus christ is already condemned but because of the spirit is helping us to believe Lord jesus christ now we are free now we are children of god now we can call Abba Father. Now we can pray. Now we can worship the Lord. Because the Holy Spirit is in us. The glory of God is in us. So we can glorify our God. And He gave us it. Um, uh, the new life and eternal security. So in Ephesians um, 1, 13, 14. In Him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believe in him we sell in the promise of the Holy Spirit who is the granted of our inheritance until acquired positions of it the praise of his glory so he sailed us to prove that we are his children and no one can snatch us no one can uh, steal us so no one if we are in the Lord no hope can be against us we are more than conquerors as we are in the Lord and Romans 8 10 says you however are not in the flesh but the spirit in the fact the spirit of God dwells in you and anyone who does not have the spirit Christ does not belong to him now because he is living in us now we are belong to Christ we are now with him and in John 3 5 it says we were born in spirit we will we cannot see the kingdom of God unless we will not born in spirit and 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 water when they could must ask the Lord Jesus Christ. So we received Jesus Christ, we were regenerated, we were born again, and then he gave us life and security, and we are his children now after we do receive. But those who don't receive, we could not force you. 
But I hope and pray that time will come when you will also receive with Jesus Christ. And number C, the second point for letter C is that He helps us to become a genuine Christian. He helps us uh, to, to become a genuine Christian. Why? Because by our own uh, capability, it's impossible for us to become like Christ. Because we are sinner. But He is the one who is helping us to become more like our Lord Jesus Christ. Like the nature of Lord Jesus Christ. So it's Jesus Christ. Um, he's a pure man, pure God, and he's so um, diligent in praying. He prayed every day, morning and evening, and he do his. Uh, he's obedient. He's humble, and he always followed what the Father told to, told him. He is so obedient. So I hope and pray that we are also um, in in the future we will become like Jesus Christ. And that's the work of the Holy Spirit helping us to become like Christ. We can also do our um, our calling to share the gospel. Every one of us that is our uh, ministry, God called us to do this ministry. Uh, because the Spirit intercedes uh, in Romans 8, 26, 27, likewise, the Spirit tells us in our weaknesses, for we do not know uh, how to pray for us we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groaning to the deep of the words. And he who searches hearts knows what in the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the sins according to the will of God. It's the work of the Holy Spirit and and He's helping us to, to grow in our relationship with God. In Galatians 5 22, this is the word of the Holy Spirit. But the birth of the Spirit, when we have when we when we have God, when we believe God, when we experience the love of the Father, we experience how Jesus Christ demonstrates his love and the compassionate of the love of our Holy Spirit be in us. And in Galatians 5 22, it says but the fruit of the Spirit, number one is love. Because God is love, He showed to us love. So that's the manifestation that should be the first result to every one of us. We should be la uh, we love one another. Uh, I said here it, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness gentleness, self-control against such things are is no law. Those who belong to Christ, Jesus have crucified the flesh with passion and desires. This is the, uh, the fruit of the Holy Spirit when we receive Jesus Christ. This is how we should this is, should be shown to us. This is the result. There's the love. He's enjoying us. The fruit of the Spirit uh, it's a normal uh, that would be the fruit that would be the result of our faith of our Jesus Christ so we experience sovereign love of the Father His mercy and we experience the unmeasurable love of our Jesus Christ uh, uh, He demonstrate He demonstrate His uh, His love to us from word became flesh, came to the world, and he lived in us, and he demonstrated to Jesus how to how to believe in him, to him, and he sacrificed himself for our salvation. And the Holy Spirit is helping us to believe in Jesus Christ, to understand the truth, to worship our God, to worship who is the Son of Jesus Christ is, and. He gives us eternal security. He helps us to become holy day by day. So that is the work of the Triune God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's the agape, the total, the total package, the ultimate love of our God, the greatest um, favor. So 
is what the uh, the love of the tribe God made us from darkness to light because before we were in darkness because of sin so from hell to heaven we know that we are going to heaven now because of their love from destruction to glory now we can glorify our God because the Holy Spirit is in us from death to eternal life before we are condemned before uh, we are subject to spiritual we are spiritually dead but through Jesus Christ through the work of trying God he gave us eternal life from hopelessness to hope now there's a lot of people um, taking their own soul uh, they're suicidal because uh, they, they feel they don't have hope because they don't have God but when we receive Lord Jesus Christ when we know our God so we know that there's a hope to every believer of Jesus Christ so even how um, how the world is so uh, distracting us but still um, the hope from God is the one that we can, can hold on there is hope there is peace in us and from guilt to peace with God so before we are so guilty because of sin we are not um, there's no peace in us but now we have, we have peace we are not um, afraid we can say that we are saved we can go to heaven or we are part of his kingdom because um, we are not guilty anymore we are not condemned anymore because what Jesus Christ did on the cross he sacrificed himself he paid himself his blood he he ransomed himself um, for our sin for us to be saved and from guilt there's peace with God from condemnation we are not condemned but we are already forgiven the forgiveness from shame to clear conscience so we are, we, we are not afraid to, to worship God to come to him because we are now um, a clear conscience we have clear conscience from children of the, the father of the liar in this world to become children of God we are now the children of God and from kingdom of Satan to the kingdom of Christ wow can you imagine that the the love of the triune God the work of the triune God to, to his children and said I know my sheep I know my sheep for they will uh, listen to my voice in, in, in doing to his, his children so God is our God is really really good and now we can see here the difference of the fifth commandment and the new commandment in the, in the great commandment it says it, uh, which is the great commandment in the law and he said to him you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your soul with all your mind that is the good and first commandment and the second is like you shall love your neighbor as you so and these two commandments depend on the law and the prophets what you can see in this uh, commandment the love is come from our own self so our love remember our love will not last long there's an expiration it's limited so that's why it's hard for us to love the Lord with all our heart because uh, we are really really see that our our flesh is so weak we are not stable but in the new commandment what Jesus Christ said in uh, John 13 34 new commandment I give to you that you shall love one another uh, one another so I have loved you also are to love one another by this all people will know that you are my disciples of love for one another why we can love another because the source of this love is not from us but it's from the trying God from him if to us so that we can love unlimited we can love our God unlimited we can love our wife in unlimited our friends unlimited our children the people are sur the surround 
surrounding the 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 one who is with us who can love them who can love our neighbor because we have the holy spirit as we have god who is living who is doing us so this here just for four nine we should love god because he first loved us first you should love one love your god with all your heart but now we can love god because he first loved us because we experience his love and the whole spirit in us now we can we can love him it's not because we love him if it's not our love but because of the love of god who teaches us how to love him it's how amazing and we should love one another as jesus love you love us so in romans 5 it says uh and hope this that put us to shame because god's love god's love has been poured out into our hearts the love of god poured out into hearts through the holy spirit was been given to us because our god is love the holy spirit now he dwell in us he live in us and the father gave us the holy spirit now we are capable to love because the holy spirit is in us do all the people manifest agape love if you believe god if you believe all of jesus christ um there is a manifestation of his love to each one of us in john 10 4 7 and 8 says their friends let us love one another if we know how to love know how to forgive for love comes from god everyone who loves has been born of god and knows god whoever does not love does not know god because god is love so we can love one another we can understand another in our differences because we have that we have the holy spirit so even how um our wife will but we can still love them because we have the holy spirit or our boss blah, 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 blah. we can still love them because we have the god we have the holy spirit we are um we can do through christ through through our god and now this three main faith hope love but the greatest of this is love why Yes, we have faith. So because of faith, we were safe. But Jesus, we are still, uh, the faith that we have is still alive, still moving, still functioning. Yeah, that's true. Hope. Just, we know that after this life, we have hope. We'll be together with the Lord. We can have our glorified body. We can live the, at his kingdom, his mansion, we'll be together with the Lord. That is our hope and our faith. But without the love, our faith and hope will be lost. It will gone if we are um, if we are relying by our own faith and hope. But that love why this is the greatest and this is because the love the holy spirit the love of the father the love of jesus christ is the, the uh pick it the package and put it into our heart the holy spirit is in us that's why the love of god is so is the greatest of all because um he is in us and it will it will not and it will stay forever it will uh he will never leave us nor forsake us so that's why we can move on we can go forward because our god is love he's living in us and teach, teaching us every day so in Corinthians 13 verse 7 says love is patient that is how we should live love is kind we should be kind it is not in vain it is not boss it's just, it it is not proud it is not dishonor others it is not self-seeking it's not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoice with the truth it always protects always trust always hopes always perseveres because that is the holy spirit that is our god 
who is in us, who is living in us, who is dwelling in us. So this love that what in the first question says, we can do it because he is with us. So I hope and pray that um, God will continue to help us and guide us in our in, in as we follow him and let us continue to be to light the shine he has given to us to share the good news to share the gospel to doing like this kind of video calling some friends sharing the gospel i challenge you let's do this for the lord let's pray and i hope that uh, we understand the love we we don't celebrate valentine's but we celebrate the love of the father our Lord jesus christ and the Holy Spirit, the saving love, the unmeasurable love to demonstrate to us, and the compassionate love of the Holy Spirit who is with us right now. He's helping us in our ministry, in our under in our uh, daily life. The Holy Spirit is helping us to become uh, become our better uh, better ourselves to become uh like Christ in Christ. So let's pray. I invite you to uh pray. Father God in heaven, thank you so much Lord for your sovereign love, your mercy. So you to God that um uh we cannot uh we cannot understand and and fathom God how he loves us and who, how you cared for us and then you give us your one and only son and he came to the world he became flesh and he demonstrated his love to us he sacrificed himself he died on the cross and he teaches us about how to be humble and he helped us to be saved that we could come to you we will become your children to become your children and he help us also that we can access the Holy Spirit who is living in us. And thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for teaching us every day in our lives. As we walk, as we follow you, I know it's not easy, but uh, there is joy, hope, and confident, confidence because you are working in us and even the love you've given to us. So we can understand, we can love one another, we can do this. Because your compassion and love that we in us and i pray lord that you will help us and guide us and teach us of oh god to do the right thing to do in every decision making may your holy spirit will help us that we can give glory to your name we can worship you in spirit and truth we can share the gospel the good news to everyone to, to your to you to your people of god so thank you so much lord for everything you've done and even for the people who are listening to this message bless them oh god in their relationship their family uh guide them lord whatever their decision making be with them be with us always thank you so much lord Just stay in prayer. god bless everyone i pray that you're always a rocking for the lord because he's our god he is our rock he is our uh foundation God bless.